Hello beautiful people, what is up? Today, well, let me start this story off. I'm going to kind of tell a story and talk about how I'm feeling about it. Um, so this is going to be more of a discussion based video, but I was listening to Ariana Grande's Thank You Next song while I was working out the other day and it really like resonated with me in that moment where you know she's basically writing this whole song saying like I'm so grateful for my exes because they've all taught me something and then she like obviously it's a song so she doesn't go into detail but she talks about like the different things all of her different exes taught her and so I don't have like a lot of serious exes I only have really one serious ex he definitely taught me a lot in like about myself and like I, I learned a lot from that relationship so I was in a relationship for three years when I was in high school and during those three years um, my ex-boyfriend cheated on me regularly and I knew about it sometimes and sometimes I decided not to believe that that was true even though I had like evidence at times and like lots of people were telling me the same things and I just chose to ignore it um, he also like refused to like really meet or like I mean he met them at some point but refused to like hang out with my family he was like not involved at all and he kept me a secret from one side of his family although I did meet his other side and like I really got along with that side of the family. He, he came from divorced parents and so did I. He like didn't like when I hung out with his friends. I didn't like his friends, but they also didn't like me. And he wouldn't ever hang out with my friends either. Um, so just to like give kind of a background on what that relationship was like, I guess. Um, it just like wasn't, it wasn't a good one. There were moments in the relationship that I do look back fondly on. Like I think our, his senior prom, my junior prom, um, that prom night was like great. He did so well like with You know matching and like he, he did everything right for that night So there are like fond memories to look back on but overall like this relationship was so bad I don't I can't believe I stayed in the relationship for as long as I did He would like he randomly broke up with me one time like in the middle of the night He texted me and I woke up in the middle of the night on accident and checked my messages because I was bored and Saw this text message that he texted me saying he was breaking up with me all of that to say like that those types of things happened and then like I would try to break up with him sometimes that happened a few different times and then he would just convince me not to because he would try harder or do something different and whatever and the straw that broke the camel's back was a dance show like three years in and he knew how important those were to me and he didn't come to any of the shows and I ended it um, very distinctly that time around but I also like messed around with him for years after that like up at least a year after that we were still like messing around and he would call me at 2 a.m. to come pick him up because his girlfriend broke up with him or got in a fight and like left him somewhere and then I would be willing to go get him this is like really the end 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 was that happened I went and got him and then I like wanted to pick him up because there were things that I was getting out of this relationship and he basically said that like if he had called me for that then then like he would have called someone else because he can get it from anyone and so then I told him to get the fuck out of my car like and and I left him close to his home but like I left him again after he had already been like left by his girlfriend at some other location those are some rough times when i look back on those but with all of that said i needed to give kind of the background in order to talk about some of the things that i'm grateful for having that relationship because it really taught me what expectations i have in a relationship and how i never want to how, how i never want to be treated ever again i've like come to realize that you being a part of my family is really important so like that's a really, really big aspect for me. Um, I recognized that although with friends it's different, like some friends are really, really my friends. So it doesn't bother me as much like now looking at my relationship with Matt, there are certain friends of mine and certain friends of his that we don't really interact with that much. But it's really important to me that 
when big events happen, like my best friend's wedding, for example, that he be involved in stuff. So it really taught me things like that. Um, it also really taught me, like, although I, I did come out of that relationship with trust issues, given all of the cheating that was going on, I also learned what really is important when it comes to jealousy. Like, I don't want just blind jealousy, and that, that comes from how I was after that relationship and having to, like, work through how easily, like, jealous I was to then realizing, like, oh, that's not important. Like, I've been through worse sort of a thing, so, like, you having friends who are girls is not the big problem. You, him, my ex, lying to me and saying they were friends when they weren't only friends. That was the problem. So I had to learn how to rebuild that trust and build trust with my relationship now and recognize like really what what the deal is, what the, what the important things are. And so I'm really grateful for that. That relationship taught me a whole lot exactly the way that I don't want to be treated. I also think that that relationship has had a long impact on the way that I also interact in my relationships because he was so on the end of that spectrum of just like not caring but then would care if it was trying to end. Now the way that I treat relationship is not it's not necessary to be like super on the opposite side of like super affectionate and super all about each other all the time everything. I learned how to be independent and like I learned how to well I learned how to find worth in myself and like realize that that's not a relationship like the way that he treated me is not good and so recognizing the like what I deserve in like my expectations of what a relationship looks like in regards to honesty and trust but then on top of that like expectations of just like how we interact with each other and stuff like that and at the same time I also learned that my like my requirements for a relationship isn't necessarily on this side of the spectrum where we are all lovey-dovey and all like affectionate all the time and everywhere personality is very independent so like I want us to have our own times but then I also want time where we do spend time with each other where it's like just me and my relationship with my husband now and so that all comes from this very long experience that I had with my ex. When I really reflect on it, I think it's really like interesting how much this high school relationship that I had has affected the way that I interact in my relationship with my current husband. That's crazy to me. And like the way that I learned how I wanted my relationship to be. Because one thing that I absolutely hated being in that relationship was how needy I was because he was so, he was so mean and like uninterested even though we were in a relationship. Like he didn't want me to talk to him at school and stuff and like it was just very weird. That was like not at the beginning, that was towards later, but he like hated when I would come up to him at lunch if he was with his friends and like there was a lot of weird stuff going on and so like I said I learned my worth and I learned what I needed from a relationship that's not how it can be so like I just found my footing from learning from that relationship I guess is my whole point that's really the end of the sentence and story I just find it really telling of how much our relationships throughout our life shape how we react and interact with others later in life. I would love to have a discussion with you about relationships and such in the comments if you're if you have a story and if you want to share like the way that you have interacted and reacted with based on relationships in your past to now and stuff like that. I would love to hear like your stories and stuff. Um, this is also a great topic that I plan to open up a discussion on my sassy sisters page on Facebook so if you're interested you can like my Facebook page and I would love to have a conversation with you there that's more like interactive because it's kind of hard on YouTube to have like an actual discussion back and forth but I really want to start doing these there as well so this is the opener and I hope that you'll come join me on Facebook as well for that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel so I'll see you guys very soon with a new one. Bye!